in the queue. Yeah, um, absolutely. What, what time did you get here? Uh, I think it was, I actually got here about three o'clock, but I okay. went away, got a coffee, <laughs> came back an hour later. So what does um, Marvel Man stroke Miracle Man mean to you? Um, well, it's a uh, fantastic Alan Moore story. Uh, it's very quintessentially Alan Moore. Um, I first came to it actually because uh, I just spotted one of the back issues in a shop once, very late in the run, saw it had Alan Moore's name on it. Uh, also saw some similar issues with Neil Gaiman's name on it. Got very confused, started buying them, tried to work out what was going on. Uh, most of this was pre-internet, so you know you have trouble finding information. So did you eventually work it all out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. And so, looking forward to getting the end of the story as well. Yeah, of course, we've still got a few years until that happens. Are you going to be happy waiting until... What is it, 2016, yeah, 2017? Yeah, I'm very patient. To be honest, I've got a whole stack of unread comics that I'm still working my way through that I bought in the last few years. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, I wait. That's fine, yeah. That's lovely. Thank you. No worries. This is the, because this is the first time that American Man has been legally available since I've been buying comics, this will definitely be the first time I've read it. I have definitely not read it in any other possible form. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's all about. Well, I'm glad to see you're buying it in legal print version. Yes. And, um, and it, I, I waited. I definitely didn't ever download it and read it in any other form because that would be wrong. So. Well, and even if you had, even if you had, yeah. you're buying it now. So yes. it makes up for any past sins. Yes. And, and, and one copy for my dad, thus completing the cycle of him having bought the original ones in the 80s, which I was too young to read when they came out. So That's wonderful. It's a sort of nice bit of security. Isn't, Isn't that beautiful? Cheers. I found out about this morning. I know, I found it at Lance Parkins told me. What? <laughs> you put pants on her? <laughs> Very strange. So when did you first uh, encounter Marvel Man stroke Miracle Man? Uh, I think originally in Warrior back in the early 80s. So you were there, you were there from the uh, first Warriors? Uh, yeah, I think I picked it up around issue two or three. Especially if you're waiting 30 years. So yeah. Yeah. Have you had a look at the new one? What do you, what do you think of the, um, the current printing of it? I, mean, um, I think it makes sense. I think the, the colouring's much more um, muted than, than back in the day. And no, I think it looks really good. And do you think you're going to be able to wait for the end? I'm going to have to, aren't I? Unless, well, unless I can peek over Mark's shoulder. Yeah, talking of which. <laughs> Mark, hello, sir. You've come to the Gary's signing day for Miracle Man 1. You know what we're going to be reading in about two years' time. I do, actually. Yeah, that's right. Have you, are you, have, yeah, okay. Um, so, so apart from, you know, actually working on the comic, I mean, what, right. did, what did Marvel Man and Miracle Man mean to you before that, I guess? Oh, it was, it was hugely influential on me, especially when Warrior was. I mean, I think Warrior came about just at that right point where I was sort of 17, 18 years old, and it was just on the cusp where, at that time, it was very common for people to sort of drift out of reading comics. And for me, the maturity and the intelligence that was going into the, those strips that were in there, like Me for Vendetta, like Miracle Man, uh, inspired and excited me and, and kept the, the flame and love for, for comics alive in me. And so the fact that nearly you know, three or four years later, I suddenly found myself in a position where I was sat in a bar next to Neil Gaiman with him saying, oh, by the way, Alan Moore's asked me if, we'll if I'll take over that comic and would you like to draw it? I mean, it's um, it was a strange situation to be in where the thing that kept me in comics suddenly became the first major work that I was approached to draw. So it's, it's always had a huge significance for me. So how is it going to feel to be going back Oh. To the um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's got a little while yet. Uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm I am ex just ecstatically excited by the prospect of, of going back to that work. It's always meant a lot to me. It was very much my um, my sort of public sketchbook. Those those early issues were me exploring, experimenting, and trying to discover what type of an artist I was through the process of being a hundred different artists with all those short stories. I think what's nice now is I'm going to be going back to the series is at a point where um, I see where I was going with that work at the, the point just before the original series came to its abrupt halt. And I've now had that 20 years worth of experience and, and, and defining of my, my work and my style within comics to then bring back to the mix. So it's given me a great opportunity to sort of take the best of what I can do now and hopefully marry it with the energy and enthusiasm of what I was trying to achieve 
as that younger version of myself. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, here's one, because people also want you to know what happens next, and obviously you can't be telling them. But I wondered, do you have a word that appears in the next script that you could share? A single word. Gosh. Um... <laughs> I can't really think of a single word, to be honest. Well, it, was, it, was a, it, was, it was a punt, I know. I know. I'm going to go with the. I'm going to reckon the no, is no, in there somewhere. There's definitely at least one the in there somewhere. That, that'll do me for now. Right, Cheers, bye. Bye. I haven't, looked, I haven't looked through it yet. I've, only, I've literally seen it digitally on screen. I haven't had a chance to look through it yet. I don't even know entirely what's in here. In fact, I was actually astonished when somebody's flicking through it to no, see they've given that an entire page. Yeah, well basically it's, like, it's the first two uh, warrior chapters, kind of. And, yet, and then a lot of other things. That, well that sketch is about that big. Oh yeah. That would have been much better as a full page than that. Yeah, good point. I think, I think it looks pretty. Cheers, guy. You alright? I was working till 3.30 last night and I was up at 6.30 this morning, got some stuff off this morning to make it come here, so... Okay. Glad you... Start to creak at the seams. <laughs> what trying Milk Man for the first time? You are, you are a virgin. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, in one way. It's one of those sort of great lost stories I never thought I'd get the chance to read. So the fact that we're starting to get this and moving on to the new stuff in a couple of years' time is kind of exciting. So I'm hoping it won't disappoint after many years of... I mean, what are you expecting? I mean, you've had all these years, so... I don't know. Uh, this, this original writer sounds like he could be interesting. Um, so, yeah, reading some early stuff by the writer who shall not be named is definitely an interesting bit. I've never really experienced Gary Leach's uh, artwork before, so I'm curious to see what that was like back then compared to whatever he'd be doing now. So, yeah, it, it's, I'm looking forward to sitting down and reading it. Cool, thank you. Of course, you weren't actually born when... Um, this first came out in Warrior. Yeah? Um, how did you come to Marvel Man, Stroke, uh, Miracle Man? I basically just saw it in the Marvel previews and then I thought, oh, Miracle Man, because I knew some that he was a superhero and there had been a lot of legal battles between it over him. And then, yeah, it was just nice to see that Neil Gaiman and was back on Marvel and then just see where it was going to go from there, really. Looking forward to reading the old ones and see what they're like. And have you... Um... I had a, had a, had a flick through it first, have you read it at all? Is this um, brand new to you? Yeah, I haven't even opened it, I just got given it as a, my copy was bought for me today. Oh, that's really cool. Who, who, who picked it up for you? Um, my friend. Friends, you're to blame. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> are you, are, are, is, is this the first time for you, or are you also... Yeah, I literally read it last night. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I'm really interested to see where it goes. Um, and yeah, I'm quite excited to be jumping on at a time when it's going to actually finish the story because there would be nothing worse than to find the most amazing thing ever, only to have it cut in the middle. Have you just got your uh, Marvel Man, Miracle Man, and a few other things signed? Yeah, uh, quite a fan of Gary's, right, going back to the Warrior days. And uh, always nice to have another version of Miracle Man. There hadn't been in enough. What do you reckon about the, um, the reprinting? Um, the look of the new thing. I had a quick look and it looks looked pretty decent actually because um, I think the Eclipse versions left a little bit to be desired. So I think the colour on this it does actually look quite nice. And when did you first come to um, Marvel Man, Stroke Milk or Man, Stroke whatever they're calling them these days? Um, through, through the uh, Black and White Warrior strip really. Um, and then followed it into the American comics and that, yeah, so. Actually, 30 years since it kind of first kept going, are you looking forward to finally get to the end of the story? Yeah, I mean, I love the, um, the Buckingham and game and stuff, so it'd be really good to see that finished off. Um, I think a particular hard thing was the um, Andy Warhol issue, just superb, so it'd be nice to see how they finish it. Cool, thank you. Hello Rufus, so, um, how did you come to a Marvel Man stroke Milk Man? Uh, stroke. Well, I'm, I'm fairly lucky. Uh, Gary Leach, uh, yeah, who's the artist yeah, yeah. Uh, on Miracle Man, is is my best friend. So uh, I'm along here today to pick up a yeah, couple of comics okay. for uh, for some friends of mine who are nice one. unfortunately couldn't make it because they're they're in Ireland. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm really thrilled for Gary that he's uh, finally got a chance to see his work uh, the way it should be looking, uh, properly back in print, uh, and getting credit for it. Um, 
obviously some people don't want their name on the project but you know that's their problem and uh, frankly fairly mature I think but you know what, what, what can we expect um, but really I think this is a chance for Gary's work to shine and uh, for people to actually see it properly for the first time in 30 years so uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, again spreading the word and uh, and hopefully uh, you know we'll actually see uh, him uh, hopefully doing some other stuff I'm really surprised that they actually haven't asked him to be more involved in uh, the Miracle Man relaunch personally that's just my own opinion but uh, I you know I, I would love to actually see him back actually doing some stuff on it because uh, he is the guy that sort of redesigned it, reinvented it. And uh, although a lot of the writers like to take the credit, um, they're, they're full of shit. <laughs> so many covers you got there? Yeah, so I've got, a, I've got four copies here for some friends of mine. Uh, I grabbed all of uh, Gary's covers because frankly I didn't like the other ones very much. Um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's done a great job. He's remastered all of the artwork. Uh, he's gone through page by page and he's totally touched up everything uh, so that it's printed as, as well as, as humanly possible. Uh, I think this is probably going to be like the, the definitive copy now. So it's, uh, I'm really happy for it. Did you hear about the uh, digital version, the, the changes that we made, uh, the Marvel I, change? I heard there was one, but I, I don't know much about it, I have to admit. So. They put the knickers on Liz Moran, the course, digital version. Of course, what, 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 what else would they do? God bless Marvel. What a fine company.